Hello, hello. Got Kenny Evans here, another car video. It's a little rainy out here, so it's uh, a little dark. But the uh, topic of this video is signs of an insecure woman. This is very important video. Just like all the other videos, but this one more than others because this will save you time on dealing with a woman who is just not good for you or if you are watching this while in a relationship maybe it's time to you know break up with the woman who may not be good with you or good for you or with you you know so this is a very important video and you know um, i guess we're gonna get into this here so I do want to say these signs, they're in no particular order, just different signs that I've noticed throughout my lifetime. Just to clarify, get that out the way. So the first sign is constantly blowing up your phone to talk to you randomly. You know, we, we you, yeah, at first you would think that's a good thing. You know, you got an attractive girl blowing up your phone, you know, but then you set the date. You say, I'll talk to you when we're on our own on the date. But yet, she's still blowing up your phone. You kind of be friendly at first. And then you just are almost like you're set. All you have now is you got to ignore her. You got to be rude to her. You know, and then she kind of talks herself out of the date, depending on how confident you are and aware of that red flag. You know, because it's almost like a, a person who's constantly talking and doesn't know when to shut up. It gets annoying. <laughs> you know, it's like, what do you do? You know what I mean? Uh, and that's similar uh, when it comes to a girl constantly blowing your, up your phone and talking to you randomly, even after you've set the date. Because now it shows that she's incredibly needy and incredibly insecure. You know, and she constantly needs your attention to feel good. You know, so that is definitely a red flag will, that will only get worse and manifest in other ways if you decide to move forward with that woman. So that is definitely a big one to look for, look look out for. Um, but the second sign here is uh, constantly talks bad about you, herself, or other people. And this is another one where it's just as a sign of her insecurity. You know, it's different if somebody did something to her, then she, she's kind of venting. But even then, you want to have a woman who has confidence enough to know that if somebody did something bad to you, they did it because they feel bad about themselves. You know, and it's a reflection of who they are, not a reflection of you. But naturally, um, you know, as human beings, we want to, if somebody does something bad to us, we want to do something bad to them. Just naturally. You know, it's just the baseline humans. So it's more understanding if somebody did something bad to that woman that she wants to talk bad about them. Or if you did something bad, she wants to talk bad about you. But if she's just talking about random people out the blue, just talking about, oh, look at that. Look at that dude's, look at his nose. Look at his outfit. That is a huge red flag. And of course, if she's doing that to you too, constantly badgering you, talking about how you dress, how you look, say you got to get in the gym, you got to get more money, you got to do this, just constantly out of the blue. And I get it, you may think, oh, she wants to help me, but that is a red flag, you know, because that shows her insecurity and not being satisfied enough with her. So she has to make things in her external life better or have more control over her external life or the people around it to, in order to feel good. And of course, if she's constantly talking bad about herself, it shows a lot of insecurity. It shows she's obviously not happy with herself. So um, that is huge, very huge, huge, huge sign to look out for uh, in order to avoid um, some drama down the line. <clears throat> Next sign we have here is she lies to you. It's pretty self-explanatory. You don't want people who lie to you. Um, you, you know, especially if you had signs in the beginning and you decided to ignore them because you thought she was so fine and you was like, ah, it's all good. I can deal with it. But then she, you guys get in a relationship and she decides to say, hey, I'm going to go with my girlfriends and we're just going to have a 
a, a, a ladies' night out. We may stay overnight if we get we get a little wild or don't want to be doing any drunk driving. I get I could do Uber, but I might as well I might just stay at one of my girlfriend's house and just sober up. You know, have a little a night you know a nightcap with them. But she tells you that, but then in reality, she's out. She's with her girls. You know, she meets a guy and she cheats on you. You know, and she doesn't ever come clean. You know what I mean? And technically, you said, oh, it's not lying. But, you know, she didn't reveal the truth. And I believe something like that, you know, as much as you didn't ask, it can be considered a lie. Because she didn't open up about it. You know what I mean? And obviously, you would want to know that as your, as the boyfriend or husband. You know what I mean? So... It is a lie, but it isn't. But honestly, it doesn't matter because even if she's just lying about little things, you don't want somebody around you who's lying, period. You know what I mean? So that could just be a huge thing that starts off small but get bigger over time, especially when you have more of your emotions involved. Next sign is a quick temper. Quick temper is huge because you want to be able to communicate with somebody effectively but if they're constantly little things they get mad and blow up and start just cussing around cussing you out and throwing things and wanting to hit you that is a, a problem <laughs> yeah you want people who are confident enough even though they may be stressed even though they may be having going through something they're able to communicate effectively and efficiently you know, there's a time to get mad, but then there's a time to communicate. And we get it. Women are emotional. But you don't want women who are like a damn wildfire and from zero to 100 in a matter of two seconds. They're blowing up. You know, not only is that a lot of drama, a lot of stress, and it's, it's just going to make your life harder. You know. Now the next sign, she attempts to, she attempts to give other man attention in front of you to make you jealous i think that's pretty simple you know you don't want a woman who's uh, intentionally checking out of the men in front of you um whether she's mad or not you guys had an argument it just is not a good look you know but you know hopefully and this is for guys who are in a relationship and didn't vet their woman properly but you see this in the beginning, you know, sure, you don't want to be jealous, but at the same time, that's a red flag that she's even doing that instead of talking to you and communicating or just leaving you. You know, you don't want a, a passive aggressive woman who is, you know, just kind of needling at you and doing these little jabs at you. You know what I mean? Because you still want to have peace. And that's one of the, the rules. You got to have a girl who makes your life easier. And that is included when she's upset. You know, so her checking out another guy or smiling at another guy in front of you, obviously she doesn't have respect for you. And then second, you know, she's incredibly insecure. You know, so that's another huge sign to look out for. Next sign, she's an attention whore. <laughs> Excuse me, it's pretty easy. A girl who's constantly, you're giving attention, you constantly send something up, she's constantly giving you excuses as to why she doesn't want to meet up with you, um, but she says, hey, maybe if you, you know, if I guess I get to know you, you know, maybe I could, you know, um, meet up with you, or she's constantly blowing you up on the phone, you guys have all these conversations, whenever you ask her out. She said, no, I'm busy this time, um, but, you know, maybe next week and it's still blowing you up, you know, or looking at you and whenever you attempt to talk to her, you know, she's like, oh, no, not right now, you know, or you, you attempt to, you know, um, ask her out or go out with her. She's like, no, not right now, maybe next week, constantly looking at you and you go through the same thing, ask her out again. And I get it. As a man, you should only give a woman once, maybe twice. 
if she was really friendly when she rejected you the first time when it comes to asking her out and setting up a date, you know, but not over time because, of course, that's her MO. She's going to get the attention. She loves the attention. And most women are not brave enough to let you know they're not interested in you. That's just how it is. Most women aren't, you know, but you as a man, of course, should not be asking a woman out more than once, maybe twice to to a date. You know, but a still confident woman will let you know that she's just not interested, you know, and then it's up to you to move on, you know, but with confidence, of course. So next sign. She if you give her a compliment and she denies it. So this is uh, interesting. You may think it's uh, it's modesty. Like if you say, oh, man, you're beautiful. She's like, no. I don't think so. Kind of looking down shyly. And it's and, and he said, oh, she's just being modest. But it's a huge red flag because either she's not interested, in my experience, or she is purposely showing insecurity. You know what I mean? Because even if she 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 doesn't truly feel it, a confident way of responding would be like, Oh, thank you. I don't really think so, but thank you. You know, or I don't think so, but thank you for for the compliment. You know, just kind of showing you acknowledgement. You know what I mean? As opposed to, no, I don't think so. You know, it's just, it's, it's not a confident way to respond to a compliment. You know, and that is a huge sign. You give a girl a compliment and she takes it as an insult or she she doesn't really appreciate it or... You know, it, of course, again, it could show that she is not interested in you, too. But it is just not good if a girl doesn't know how to take a compliment. Or it's even worse if she she takes a compliment and she kind of blows it up. She's like, yeah, I already know. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what else is new? Something like that. It, again, it's a huge red flag. You know, confidence is not showy like that. Just say thank you or appreciate it. You know, and again, if you don't, even if she doesn't believe it, say, hey. You know, oh, I don't think so, but thank you. You know, so that thank you goes a long way. <clears throat> so the last sign is a woman wearing too much makeup or constantly wearing makeup. I mean, I think it's pretty easy. We got these women out here who look like clowns, got cakes, caked on makeup. You know what I mean? <laughs> Looking like that. Yeah, they they designed a birthday cake on their face. You know what I mean? So it just shows that they're not very uh, confident in their appearance. Very simple. You know what I mean? So that is uh, pretty easy, self-explanatory. Um, but then you got a woman constantly wearing makeup. You know, some women, even in the house, they got to wear makeup. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Some women, even in the house, have to wear makeup. Because they don't feel confident in themselves. You know? About to go to bed and wear makeup. Or maybe right before they go to bed, they take it off. And of course, that's bad for your skin. Or bad for her skin. But they do it. Especially if they have a man around them. You know what I mean? So it's just... It is very bad because you want a woman to look good in makeup. Me personally, I don't like a woman who wears too much makeup. Something light. You know, but I prefer natural. If you look good naturally and then you can wear just a little bit of makeup to look even better. Beautiful, beautiful woman. I like that. You know, but a woman who is wearing too much makeup or constantly wearing makeup. Huge red flag. Not good. But, you know, these are signs you got to look for, whether you're in a relationship or before you, you start uh, dealing with the woman. Because they will save you a lot of time and heart, heart heartbreak whenever you uh, you apply them, and you know just you know you you know which women you got to deal with and not to deal with. So that's all I got for y'all today. You know I appreciate y'all. You know sticking out, sticking uh, with me here in this video, and um, I hope y'all have a great week. But of course, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to donate. I appreciate it. Hit that notification button uh, to get notified whenever I make these uh, awesome videos every week or whenever I do. 
And uh, of course, let me know in the comments what other videos you would like for me to make for you guys. You know, obviously related to the, you know, dating and, um, and the dating and, you know, I guess sex, you know. Um, so let me know. Men and women, let me know what kind of topics you like to hear from my channel here. But um, I appreciate it. You guys have a great day and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.